Hey there, I'm Chris, and I wanted to talk with you today about justification. Now, it sounds like a pretty big, intimidating word, but it's actually not that hard to understand. I want you to picture this scene with me, okay? Imagine that you're five years old and you're learning to skate for the very first time. You got your helmet on and your other gear with your new skates, and you're starting to get the hang of it. So you start skating over to your older brother or your sister to show them how good you've gotten at skating. And then they push you to the ground and you scrape up your knee. Now we would say that it was a wrong action that your older brother did. If we were to label that action, we would put a big stamp on it and say, wrong. And I don't think anyone would disagree with that. Now, I want you to picture the same scene. So you're skating over to your older brother or your sister to show them your skating skills and boom, they push you down again. But we find out that your older sibling was the only one who saw that you were actually about to skate off of a cliff and fall to your death. Now, if we were to put a label on that action, we would say that your older sibling did the right thing, right? Yeah, we would put a big stamp that says right. Even though you got a little scraped up, you're alive. And that's what it means to justify something, to change its label from wrong to right. Now, when we were all born, we all had labels that were put on us. Both yours and mine said sinful when we were born. No matter how good we are, how much good we do, how much money we give away, how nice we are to others, our label cannot change in God's eyes. It will continue to say sinful. Well, because we're all human and we all sin, and we do things that are not good and, and make God sad, and therefore we cannot be called right despite anything that we do to please God. Our list of good things we've done also includes a list of bad things we've done. Even our best behavior cannot make us right before God. And this is, this is how we look. Now, justification means the action of showing something to be right or reasonable. When something is just, it's the right thing to do. It's true. When God justifies someone, he declares him or her to be right and good. Now, it's only when we have faith in Jesus that our label changes. God declares us to be right. He justifies us because of his son, Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, he took all of our sin and bad stuff and he gives us his righteousness. Because Jesus is God, he did not sin and was therefore perfect. Now we're still a little, we're still a little wrinkled because of our sin, but you can see our label's been changed from sinful to righteous in God's eyes. And when God looks at us, he sees the perfect righteousness of his son, Jesus. And this is justification. So, if we're not justified by what we do, how are we justified? Well, we're justified by grace, through faith. And justification is God's gift to us. We cannot do anything to earn it, and we definitely don't deserve it. We receive this promise of justification by faith. And faith is simply belief or trust. When you have faith in someone, you trust them. You trust that they are going to do what they said that they would do. And this is faith. So justification is a free gift from God that we receive by believing in Jesus and trusting him. God himself gives us the gift of faith and allows us to believe in him and his promises.